Cryptocurrencies are a groundbreaking innovation that fundamentally blend technology and finance in ways that were unimaginable just a few decades ago. They could revolutionize the way we think about money, investment, and the very concept of value itself. But one question has sparked debate within the financial and technological worlds. Is cryptocurrency a commodity or a security? This answer has far-reaching implications for how we regulate cryptocurrencies, integrate them into our existing financial system, and perceive their potential risks and rewards. Before we delve deeper, let's establish our terminology. A commodity is a basic good used in commerce that is interchangeable with other goods of the same type. Commodities are often the building blocks for more complex goods and services. They are raw materials like gold, oil, and wheat, whose value comes from their intrinsic, tangible properties. In contrast, a security represents an ownership position in a publicly traded corporation, a creditor relationship with a governmental body or a corporation, or rights to ownership as represented by an option. Securities are often intangible and their value is derived from an external contractual claim. Cryptocurrency as a digital or virtual form of currency doesn't fit neatly into either of these categories. Hence why its classification has been a source of controversy and differing interpretations. Let's take a moment to consider some real-world examples. Bitcoin, the pioneer and most renowned cryptocurrency, is often likened to a digital equivalent of gold, a commodity. This comparison is drawn because, like gold, Bitcoin is mined. It has a finite supply and it does not represent a claim on earnings or ownership like a traditional security. Indeed, the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, has openly declared that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies fall under its jurisdiction as commodities. However, the cryptocurrency universe is vast and diverse. Not all cryptocurrencies are created equal or serve the same purposes. Consider the case of Ethereum's Ether. Initially, Ether was designed as a token in the Ethereum network with a specific utility to power smart contracts and decentralized applications, dApps. Over time, it has grown into a store of value, leading some to argue that it should be treated as a commodity. But the plot thickens when we consider cryptocurrencies associated with initial coin offerings, ICOs, which do bear a resemblance to securities. In these cases, investors purchase tokens with the hope that their value will increase over time. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, has made the case that such tokens are indeed securities and should be regulated as such. A prominent example is the SEC's lawsuit against the company behind the cryptocurrency Ripple XRP, alleging that it conducted an unregistered securities offering. So we look back at our original question, is cryptocurrency a commodity or a security? The answer is far from straightforward, and realistically, it depends. The nature of the specific cryptocurrency, its structure, its purpose, and its intended use all contribute to determining its classification. This highlights the urgent need for careful, nuanced regulation that can adopt to the unique characteristics and innovative nature of cryptocurrencies while still ensuring investor protection and maintaining financial stability. The world of cryptocurrencies is constantly evolving, and it is our responsibility to keep pace with it, embracing its potential while remaining vigilant of its challenges. With careful consideration, informed debate, and proactive regulation, we can ensure that cryptocurrencies, whether deemed as commodities or securities, can coexist with traditional financial instruments, contributing to a diverse and robust financial ecosystem. So what are your thoughts? Should cryptocurrencies be treated as a commodity or a security? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you're always in the know.